Hello, Scrabble here, and I'm back with more Blasphemy. Blasphemy is on all sorts of systems. I am playing it on the Switch, but you can also find it on Steam, PS4, and Xbox One. I have no preferences for the systems, except for the fact that I own a Switch and a PC, and I don't own a PS4 and an Xbox. Last time, we died to the boss in here, which is uh, 10 Piedad, which is I'm probably Spanish, and I'm probably messing it up. I, this is our guilt, so we break this, you'll see that we're kind of bound, our spirit, kind of bound by this tree. And the interesting thing about this, though, is that we heal when we absolve ourselves of the guilt. So, I kind of want to save this until we've taken more injury. I also like that you can hear this guy snoring. Alright, tree man. We gonna fight now. Ah, that was dumb. Double dumb. Triple dumb. Now we're gonna do it. I don't think that actually cured much. Wah! Oh, there we go. That's for us. Hey, buddy. Right. Pop that off because we can. Get three hits. Uh oh. That just occurred to me. Oh! Ah! It was like I shouldn't have stopped. Whoa. Get three in. Oh! We do this and then run! Go, go, go. Oh, I think I made it. So, this is not looking like a win. He's like, wait a second. Stomp is bad. Ah! Oh! Stomp is bad. And we're dead. I have beaten this boss, and the time that I beat him, I didn't think he was all that tough. I still don't think he's that tough. I am grateful that the retry is right next to him. Like I said, if you listen closely here, you can hear him snoring. Alright, try again. We're gonna get him. He's not too hard. He's quite angry. Whoa. I'm gonna go more for the four hits. We're gonna let him get angry. Whoa. Oh, that was awful. There we go. Got behind. Perfect. Oh, come on. I swear I sliced that. Oh, stay back there. Oh! I think I'm okay here. I'm gonna slap that. Oh! Ha ha! You know, that might be best for when he stops. Ah, we're gonna heal. That was bad. 
Oh, that was really bad. You're greedy. We're gonna go! No! Oh, no! Down! Got him! See it again! That did not seem so bad. I think I healed, what, once? Requiem Eternum. If I spoke Latin, I'd tell you what that means. As you can see, he's not looking so good. Ooh! Alright, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Okay. You see this giant sleeping over here. And we pray. At least I assume we pray. This is really neat, because it looks like... It looks... I mean, one, it's beautiful. It's grisly and it's beautiful. It looks like the Earth has come up like an ocean in a giant wave and just captured people within it. The imagery is great. And then, I, like always, I love the parallax scrolling while we look at this stuff. In the name of the great ordeal and the sons of the miracle, when you humbled yourself before my most holy body, you have been granted the presence of my golden visage, custodian of one of the three sorrows of the soul in penance. Our miracle has chosen me amongst all the peers, just as it chose you to walk on this sacred sea. May the gold in my visage melt and erase the attrition of your soul. Heart of guilt, return now from the dream. You have acquired a holy wound of attrition. So I guess that's the creature there and we entered into its dream, or if it's not a creature, it's a statue and this is represented. Holy wound of attrition mark left by the golden visage with the melting gold that it mentioned that reveals the cleanliness of attrition in the soul of the penitent one, which is me. Santo Credo verse one is holiness because of his high penance must endure suffering in his soul in three ways. Each of the ways is a motive and each motive is a sore. Hence, these three sores are the keys to his eternal pain and must be guarded. As we know, we need three things in order to open the thing of the church. Another really interesting thing about that section is that it's voiced by both a man and a woman, kind of indicating that maybe it's God? Oh, we're back in the Desecrated Cistern. If we take a look at the map, which is minus, you'll see that this is also the Desecrated Cistern. It connects these two sections here. We came around this way because this area was locked, but you can see here to here. Indicating that, you know, God is both male and female, maybe. You have carried out the first humiliation of Sure have. Met the visage of attrition. You have yet to prostrate before two last holy visages. Yep, we got two more to do. Then we can go to the church. Pray here. We still have time left, so we can continue. So one thing that we'll see here is how this level works, because there are some interesting aspects to the level. First, we're going to head this way. Blessed are the eyes that with devotion see my tormented heart. Let the ones who are joyful in affliction and fasting come to me, for they are pleasant penance. Six sting pains lance my flowery breast. Take the first one and purge one of your six mortal stains of the soul. Maximum health has increased. So some interesting things to unpack there, though, because there are definitely interesting things. She said there are six mortal wounds in her. As we can see, there were six swords inside. We removed one, and our health increased. There's our charge. This 
seems kind of neat, but again, I don't like the fact that we can't move while we're doing it. I have to wait. Um, and she said it would clean or cleanse one of our six sins, which I think is a more interesting statement. Oh, I don't want actually want to go this way. I saw that there was an item the other way. That's what I want to check out. Let's not get it hit. All right, what do we got? The Scaphoid of Fierce the Leper. Rejected by his family, his village, and even by other lepers, Fierce only found solace in the echo that his voice returned to him when he took refuge in the tunnels of the desecrated cistern. Thanks, Fierce, for backing this project. I'm still going on the theory that these are Kickstarter backer items. And we appreciate all the Kickstarter backers for helping get this amazing game produced. A hop here. I don't actually know that I can reach that. Oh, I can. Great. We got four of 38. 38 seems like a lot. We're going to head this way. Now, these guys, very dangerous. Do you even touch them? They will blow up and you will die. And they come up when this guy rings his bell. So if you want to get rid of them on a map, all you have to do is find the bell ringer and they won't come back. Okay, so the bell ringer's gone until we pray again, which means we're fairly safe walking back. And so let's check out what's over here. This is poison mist. If we walk into it, we are going to take hits. Now it's possible that we jump out of it and we see there's a bell ringer here too. We don't have anything that will tackle poison mist. I thought originally was that secret salesperson who sells a charm that helps against toxins would mean that you could walk through it without getting hit. That has not been my experience. My experience is that even with that charm, you still take damage. It's possible you take less damage, but you still take damage and the whole thing's kind of kind of messy. I'll walk over here first. Okay, we see we got bell ringers. We cannot get hit by that. It is instant death. Okay, he's dead. And I have not had any success catching these ledges out when I'm jumping out of water. They're like, oh man, Scrabble, why don't you catch the ledges when you jump out of the water? I just haven't been able to. So we crank here, we go through. This is the salesperson that we encountered previously. You can see the items that we still have left to purchase, including the toxin one, which really reinforced for me the idea that... Oh, I dropped my controller. There we go. Really reinforced for me the idea that we had to come here and buy that toxin item, because why else would we have a shortcut? That just wouldn't make any sense. But then it did not really do anything for me. I didn't find that I stopped taking instant death. I didn't find that I could walk through the clouds. Maybe it means that you can safely take damage from this stuff or take less damage from this stuff. That's possible. I didn't notice. But I'm not going to say it's not true. Uh, let's go up first. 
looks tougher to get up. If I was going to hide something, it would be up. And we know that we need to go left, so again, having something on the right kind of seems good too. Stay away from him. Wah! Ooh. We're gonna keep going. Because we care about the bell ringer more than anything else. Okay, we got a box. And we got another empty bile vessel. This is our second one. Vessel made of crystal and gold capable of holding the hollowed bile that emanates from the morning fountains. Exact same as before. Exact same as before. Yeah. So we have no need to read it again because it's the same. And now we can kill the guys in here. Ah, except those guys because they regen all the time. These guys are nice and easy. And with it, the dudes that explode, this place gets a lot easier. Woo! Oh, there we go. Okay, onwards. I really do enjoy the environments here. They're quite nice. I mean, it's hard to be like, you're looking at a desecrated cistern and you're saying that the environments are nice. I mean, they're atmospheric. You will note that if we stay under the clouds, we only really take damage. That's why it's like, hey, I'm able to stay out of the cloud here because I'm dodging and everything else. And again, bell ringers, super important to get rid of. All right, he's dead. We know it's down there because we've been down there and we can continue going. All right, let's head down first. And again, it's because we know we have to go up. Oh, I can't go down that way. Gonna drop here. Avoid the exits that we can. Okay, this is you remember before that we heard about the villagers that opened the coffin or the sarcophagus. They found that blood was pouring out, despite the fact that this thing was that the creature or the penitent one inside was dead. It continued to bleed, and the villagers collected the blood. That's what we do here. We pay tiers in exchange for refilling our health and refilling our bile vessels. And we can refill empty biliary vessels in exchange for money. Tiers. So here, 500 gives me one more. 750 gives us one more. Now we have four. We are so much stronger now. Now we have higher maximum health. We've got four potions or four blood vials as they might be. But we're feeling all right. It's also a thing here. Again, I cannot actually get it though, because I can't jump that high. You can see, we'll have to come back here eventually to be able to get up. And while the game is pretty good about making sure that you don't get knocked off of ladders and things when you take hits, this one is very specifically designed like a puzzle for that thing, so yes, you can get knocked off. And yeah, I didn't buy anything from the merchant because I knew I wanted the money. Ah! I'm just gonna keep going, bypass you. Come on, buddy. Get over here. I don't want to stab you. Oh, 
Oh, right. We can't actually get up there. <laughs> because we can't jump that high. Maybe we can't jump out of the water. Glory kill. I do have some neat things to show off when we get back to Al... Al Barrow? But... It's gonna be a while yet. Just if you're like, Scrabble, I know you got stuff... ...related to side quests that we've seen in the town, I really want you to get there. We're getting there. As I showed you, the map is leading us back that way. And... ...because this is a Let's Play, I did not want to backtrack... ...through the travel that far... ...when we don't have to. If we had to, that'd be one thing. But we don't. So, whatever. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Taking dumb hits. That's what I'm all about. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I do lots of dumb hit taking. Okay, so we know out the left is the way that we want to go to get back to Albero. But there's also down here. And we're going to head that way first. Check for secrets, because I like to do so. For some reason, I don't think I can go very far this way. Oh. I feel like this is like a shortcut back. Oh yeah, this is a neat area. So you can see here, like, the gate is closed. We have poison gas all over the place. Which you want to watch out for. Okay, gate's open. Go, go, go! Ah! No! 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 Oof! Yeah, that wasn't the right way to do things. Okay. Black Grieving Veil. Dark cloth that has kept its silky feel despite the passing of the years. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely ever find healing. Number two. No one knows what they asked for in that prayer, nor why they didn't want to be wedded. The miracle, with its grievous plans, it went to the aid of the sisters, if you can call that aid. Sounds like some sisters were going to get married, did not actually want to get married, and claimed the miracle helped them by killing the potential husbands, or after they got married, the husbands. Hence why they said, if you could call that aid. I mean, that's the only thing that I can take from it. This is a very long path. There better be something good down here. Oh no! See? We got a, we got a ringer over here. We got a here. We can only get that way through this tunnel, which we couldn't use previously because we can't take care of <laughs> the poison gas. So, like I said, this might be an area where we just can't do much, and it might be a shortcut back, and that's exactly what it is. Woo! You get the joy of watching me come up the shortcut back, because I really don't want to have to record everything. Or cut things, because when I was recording Bubba is You, having to make cuts kind of ruined the videos I was rendering for whatever reason, and just totally destroyed my enjoyment of recording. When it takes five hours to render videos because they don't work, people don't have a good time. So now that we killed the bell ringer, we aren't going to see endless spawns of poisonous dudes here. Exploders. That way to the left is back out to the chasm. 
But as mentioned, there are things in Albero that I want to show off now. We're just going to head back. Okay. Let's hand in our body parts. Our skeleton pieces from the Kickstarter backers. All right, look at that. We got way more Kickstarter backer stuff. What this is going to be for long term, I have no idea, but it's nice to be filling them in. They paid for it and they deserve us to have us read their stories and talk about them. We have the Mea Culpa statue over to the left, as well as the transporter. Here we have Bouquet of Time. We've got the healer. Merciful be, penitent one. With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. Here's the linen cloth. The miracle is. Don't have any other stuff, so that's fine. place we gather the remains of those who were separated and forgotten so we can grant them holy burial help us these poor souls oh i i honestly i still don't know what he's looking for i know he's looking for something i don't know what he's looking for maybe his stuff increases our fervor because i haven't found anything that increases the fervor yet but almost certainly if we can increase life we can increase fervor now we can interact with this which we couldn't before it's actually the linen cloth that enables you to do this. This place is another dream, penitent one. They believe me a saint worthy of devotions, and the only thing I granted to their prayers was the saltpeter that runs through the stark land and rises through our bodies. The punishment of the miracle for the false idol is to grant them false holiness. Do not try to obtain my name, for it is also covered in salt. Bring me anything that can be blessed, so you might crush this fate of mine and let me cross to the other side of this false dream. Do we want to give the cloth? It's interesting that it's an option. But we will. Behold the linen cloth that soaks the sweat of fevers, of thoughts, of dreamt sins. A tool that obtains secret and forbidden confessions, even from those who already departed to the other side of the dream. In the name of the High Wills, I bless this relic. Watch over it, for it is now pure and sacred. We get the shroud of dreamt sins equip relics to change your perception of the world each relic possesses different unique effects and you can equip up to three of them at the same time as you can see we have now the shroud of dreamt sins yellowish fabric witness to febrile confessions it still quivers in the face of tortured souls allowing one to listen to those who can no longer speak Febrile or febrile, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. As he was, he hardly noticed someone who had sat down next to him. A gentle hand patted a white cloth on his forehead. It was a fabric of the utmost softness, which allowed light through it as if it were a sheet of paper, and was soaking his feverish sweat and providing such relief that he couldn't help but fall asleep. When the cloth was soaked, the nun got up and handed it to the mother superior, adding, with this, we'll be able to have his confession. There we go, we equip it, and now our view of the world will be ever so slightly changed. And I'll show you how. Oh, the exit's actually over here. Kind of hard to see, but it's slightly lighter. This is an interesting place, that dream. Like, really, really interesting to me. And I wonder if the guy that we found is actually a representation of God or not. That's kind of where I fall on that. I'm not sure exactly where he falls on the on the scale is he good is he bad i don't know having the option to give him the linen or not is definitely interesting i also though worry about these crows that are everywhere so now you see this guy here who's fallen has this thing coming out of him we can press x 
What are those little ones that seem to hide up in the ceilings amongst the ornaments of the altars? When I call them, they do not appear to pay me any mind. They are covered in ribbons that give the impression of fluttering in an invisible, imperceptible, constant wind. At times I hear them cry, and at times I hear them laugh. What are you, O creatures of divine grace? See, he's talking about these cherubs. There was one that we passed earlier in the section where we couldn't get to the relic, or not relic, we couldn't get to the item inside. It's so interesting because he's trying to be cured. We couldn't get to the item inside of the desecrated cistern. That was part of it. Okay. So we're going to stop here because it's been half an hour. Next time, we are going to head all the way back to the Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow because we have the key to the room of the eldest brother. And I'm sure... Actually, maybe we'll just walk back now. That way next time we can just go to the chasm and start playing that because there's lots of interesting stuff in the chasm too. And this trip should be pretty quick. Are you kidding? There, fine. Ta-da! And there's also this way down here which you can downstab. Clavicle of Dal Huisen, the school child. They searched for him for days until they found Mark's remains in the woods. Since then, rumors tell of demons riding on the backs of flying goats coming from faraway lands. Dal Huisen, thank you so much for back in the game. Really glad the game is here. We can't get that high. You'll see that we have like little glowing bugs or whatever. And kind of interesting. Oh, I did not actually think he could hit me. We couldn't jump up high. We still can't jump up high, so I'm not really concerned. Ah! More crows or ravens. And here in this building... Oh, we'll notice that the guy from outside is gone now. You have used the key to the chamber of the eldest brother. We see that there's only one thing here. You have acquired the blood perpetuated in sand, which is another relic. Preserved blood with miraculous properties. With the passage of its bearer, new ledges are revealed, formerly invisible to the beholder's eyes. The miracle is truly unfathomable, and no one knows the origin of the blood that swirls around the wearer's feet. We're going to equip it. Take this bag and fill it with sand. Now imbue it with the blood spilling from these dreadful wounds so it will turn crimson red. With it, you will show the way through these dry lands to those who are yet to follow. Leave me now. I want to say my prayers, for I will soon be joining the dry sap of the, these roots that painfully embrace our father. So now we have additional ledges that are going to show up. I can show off an example of those very quickly as we make our way back to Albero. Once more, we pass through the remains of our brothers. We are the only survivor. We don't know why. Jump, jump. Come on. We're getting there. 
I do love this game. I was asked today on Twitter whether or not I thought this game was a good real Metroidvania or if it's only popular for its goriness. And I said honestly, and I do believe that it's just a good game. I really like the systems and the combat. As you can see here, going to this corpse that we can now talk to because of our relic, we see that there is a blood ledge there, and we don't know how to get to it yet. We assume with time that we will be able to get there, but can't get there right now. Now you've seen what the blood ledges look like. Yeah. So, let me know what you think of the game. I definitely think that the goriness is not, like, the point of the game. The brutality is not the driving factor for me. I really like the systems. Okay. I'm gonna quit here. Next time, we will uh, start up, and then we're going to walk to the Mountains of Endless Dusk, and... Head through this area. One, I think that's actually the area they want us to go to next. But more than that, it just makes logical sense. I mean, we, we came through here, we came back, we came up. The other place that we have to go is up through the wasteland of the buried churches. But we are going to have to go this way. Originally, I thought when we came down, I mean, we weren't supposed to find it yet. So it was really cool to find that early. But here we are. So there should be lots of interesting stuff in here. And I'm excited to see it. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more Blasphemous, feel free to subscribe. Plus, helps out the channel quite a bit. You can share the video. You can comment on the video. It all helps out a lot. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.